Okay, I'm going to do a very quick video on a Technics 1200 repair. One channel was not working, the right channel, and 99% of the time, and this is a this is a video for those of you who are kind of have dug into one of these before. This little circuit board here is where the RCA cables connect to the stylus and the tone arm and all that. And nine times out of 10, the problem is here. Uh, this turn turntable, somebody has done an internal ground job on. There's a lot of theories about whether or whether or not that's a good idea. I'm gonna leave it in place. Um, but uh, as I was saying, nine times out of 10, the, the issue is going to be with one of these incredibly dinky, thin wires either being broken or a, a busted solder trace or them somehow uh, shorting into one another or something. That was not the case here, but when I metered it, my red wire, this one, uh, was shorting to blue. So I had to take the whole freaking tone arm off and this whole, all of this contraption, and there are videos on the internet that will tell you how to do this. I'm sorry I'm showing you this after the fact. But I do want to point out what happened, and I'm going to scan up to this video here. What happened was that there's those wires that we were just looking at on that little board. Uh, and this is this gold thing here. This is on the gold version of the 1200. Um, uh, that that's right below this. So we're looking at the underneath side of that. Whoever had serviced this before had run those wires up through the same hole here as the actual axis of the tone arm. So this thing was crimping blue and red against uh, the case of the actual turntable and shorting them out. And uh, so that was the issue. So it's very important if you do do work on a tone arm and you take it apart, that little kind of triangle with uh, its nose cut off shaped hole, that's where these little wires go up before they go through the center of this white plastic piece. The white plastic piece there is just on top of all of that contraption. Uh, so they go through the side hole there, and then you snake them up through the center of the white plastic piece and then back up onto your board. But it involves taking all of this apart. Anyways, um, problem solved, and I just wanted to point that out because it seems like an easy mistake that somebody would make. Um, so hopefully none of us ever do again.